lighting need some light that's better hello everyone it's been a while hasn't it hi yeah this video stuff's gonna get better okay i'm in the middle of exams at the moment i'm in the middle of assignments and deadlines and and crazy stuff and there's a whole lot of stuff that i can't tell you about yet until it actually happens and i'm writing so many words at the moment i i can't come up with any more words to fit into a video in fact you're probably going to realize throughout the duration of this video that i have forgotten the ability to speak forgotten the ability lost the ability say example a so today apart from wish you a happy spring happy may because i haven't seen him in so long and the summer is finally on its way we've got some nice weather um i wanted to talk about shopping because shallow as it sounds it is the love of my life um and recently oh it's a car um due to student budget issues and rent and all these things i haven't been able to go shopping i've had to put a complete ban on it so this is just my going cold turkey talking to everybody about it because i can't do it so i'm gonna go with i also have to apologize well i don't have to apologize but i just thought i'd let you know that i do realize that my hair is a giant ball of frizz and this will be fixed and also that i really need to buy a tripod for my camera and i understand that it must be a bit shaky at the moment because i'm holding it with my hand and i have very shaky hands so insight for you i have always been a huge shopping fan i there isn't really another word for it i watched confessions of a shopaholic not very long ago and yeah I identified with far too many of the symptoms of being a shopaholic. It was a bit sad. Yeah, I love new clothes. I love the idea of going and trying stuff on. I love coming home with new stuff, being able to try it on. I like mixing up colours and dressing other people. Oh, I like the spending money bit because I know that I've earned it, which is really nice. There's nothing about shopping that I don't really like, unfortunately, apart from the fact that it's an expensive habit. A bit sad. So at the moment, I've got my eye on a selection of French Connection bits and bobs that I saw when I was shopping in Cambridge in French Connection with my friend during Easter holidays. And I can't get them at the moment because I don't have anywhere near the funds. So I'm going to wait for summer jobs to come along and for sale to come along. And they're all bookmarked on my computer and ready to go. So when those come along, Hannah will be happy. But until then... We're just going to have to hold on for what we've got. But I thought I'd just show you a few bits and bobs that I've bought recently that I really liked, or recently as in past few months. Um, and you can share anything else you like down there, okay? So I thought I'd start off with my beauty bits and bobs and then move on to my other stuff. And then if you can tune out or whatever bit you're not that interested in. Um, first is I gave up a couple of weeks ago and went to Lush. I am a massive Lush fan and always have been. I love everything about the company. I love the natural and the very truthful ingredients and making process. Um, I love the atmosphere in the store and their emphasis on a lovely sort of personal touch to when you go in. I just, it's my favourite stores ever. Um, and this was something I haven't tried before. It's Rub 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 Shower Scrub and it's bright blue and it's really coarse, it's made with sea salt. If you rub it on dry, it's exceptionally coarse, and if you rub it on when you're in the shower, it's quite silky, and then when it rubs off, it leaves you with a gorgeous, really moisturized, really, really lovely smelling skin. So that was a favorite of recently, and with that, I also got the Dirty Shower Gel, and I've never tried anything in the Dirty Range before because I assumed that it was the guy's range, but actually, when I looked more closely at it, it's got the really nice sort of menthol and mint smells that I really, really like in toiletries. So I've given it a try, and that, mixed with the scrub stuff, is divine, so I'm enjoying that. Um, I also thought I'd talk about this. It's the Kate Rimmel London um, Coral Glow highlighter and contour kit um, and it comes in three parts you've got your highlighter at the top you can see i've already used it to death uh highlighter at the top bronzer in the middle and blush down the bottom and it's just great i have found it it was like ridiculously cheap compared to the high-end stuff um and it's just really good it's in a handy it's all in one and so it's handy to carry around just kind of essential stuff in a handbag or if you're going away somewhere it's really nice um 
and yeah it just does the job really really well and I always find that I normally go for too warm a colour for contouring and keeping it cooler is always a good idea and this is the perfect shade for my skin and I've got really pale skin so um, yeah loved that still loving that we'll love that till it's gone um next i've got a little sample of clinique foundation now i need to actually go away and update you guys on what this is it's shade 0 0.5 i'm not even on the scale i'm so pale but um really really nice coverage quite heavy but it doesn't feel heavy it gets really good kind of full coverage and covers up anything you don't want anyone to see easy to build up but doesn't look clogged and doesn't feel heavy on your skin and it's great as a sort of canvas above i always use the smashbox uh, clear primer um and it gives a really nice sort of coverage that lasts for quite a while um and works really well under this it's a good combination so if you're not interested in makeup then you've got that bit out of the way and now I want to talk about a few books because I went a bit mad in Oxfam bookshop uh, near where I live and picked up a few books and I haven't read these yet but this is the first one I've got it's called Major Pessigrew's Last Stand and it's by Helen Simonson if I read the back a charming funny and absorbing debut quirky lovely novel once in a while a novel is written which is that rarest and loveliest of things joyfully life affirming this is one of those books easy living so i'm excited to give that a try it looked really kind of feel good and i always think a feel good book for summer is a good idea when you're just you don't want to be brought down you don't have to think too much you just want to read something that's going to make you feel happy so that's that one next i've got c'est la folie by michael wright again i think it's another sort of feel good summary one i have to apologize for the camera work here um my arm's getting very painful but um it's about it's a fiction book about a man who chooses to go and live in france for a bit of an adventure in later life and he's from london and he moves to a little small place in france and it's all about his life, I think, so I'm really looking forward to that. Nice cover as well. It's a nice one to have on the bookshelf. Looks lovely. And then my last one is a Jodie Pickard. I'm quite a fan of a Jodie Pickard when you do want to get into something heavy. And this is massive. I'm going to have to turn around. This is House Rules by Jodie Pickard. And it's described as... Oh, I'm going to have to read the bit of it. Jacob Hunt is a teenager, brilliant at maths, wicked sense of humour, extraordinarily organised, hopeless at reading social cues. Jacob has Asperger's. He's locked in his own world, but aware of the world outside and wanting to make a connection. Jacob tries to be like everybody else, but doesn't know how. And it goes on, um, it's got a bit of a tragedy and how it all works out. So that's really exciting. And I love reading books that are written from the perspective of people with Asperger's or somewhere on the ASD spectrum. I find it really, really interesting to see how writers choose to portray somebody with a mind that works so differently. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that. Um, I think those were all the things I wanted to tell you about. I was quite proud of my eyeliner today, hence why I decided to finally do the video. And I'm going to do something with my hair and sort myself out. Um, I'm going to go back to writing some words. I hope you're well, and I hope that you're enjoying the, the all right weather. It's, it's not what it was, but it's warmer. It's warmer than it was in February. That's what I'm going with. All right, love you lots, and I'll see you soon. I'm going to try harder to actually talk to you and I have a few things coming up to replace and to explain why I've been so absent for weeks and weeks. If you'd like this video or you liked anything else I've done recently it'd be really nice to hear from me in the comments below or click the subscribe button or let me know if you'd like to hear more. Okay bye lovely see you later.